He is known for his contributions to the field of optics and his role in the development of optical instruments. He is recognized for being a co-owner of a German company that manufactured advanced optical systems. His name is Ernst Abbe. In the realm of optical science and entrepreneurship, one name stands out, Ernst Karl Abbe. Hailing from Germany, Abbe was not only a physicist but also a social reformer who left an indelible mark on the world. Alongside his collaborators Otto Schott and Carl Zeiss, Abbe made groundbreaking contributions to the field of optics, revolutionizing the development of optical instruments. Together, Abbe, Schott, and Zeiss worked tirelessly to create a wide range of advanced optical systems. Their partnership led to the establishment of Carl Zeiss AG, a renowned German company that manufactured scientific microscopes, astronomical telescopes, and even planetariums. Abbe's inventive genius and dedication to advancing optical science played a pivotal role in the success of the company. But Abbe's contributions extended beyond his entrepreneurial endeavors. He was also passionate about social reform, recognizing the importance of fair labor practices and workers' rights. Abbe advocated for improved working conditions and implemented a groundbreaking social program for the employees of Carl Zeiss AG. His commitment to the welfare of the workers showcased his belief in the power of science not only to drive innovation but also to benefit society as a whole. Ernst Karl Abbe's life and work serve as a testament to the intersection of scientific brilliance and social consciousness. His contributions to the field of optics and his commitment to social reform have left an enduring legacy. Abbe's story reminds us that science has the power not only to shape our understanding of the world but also to bring about positive change in our lives. In 1866, Ernst Abbe found himself at the Zeiss Optical Works, taking on the role of research director. It was here that he would make his greatest scientific discovery, the invention of the apochromatic lens. This revolutionary microscope lens eliminated both primary and secondary color distortion, allowing for clearer and more accurate observations. Abbe's contributions didn't stop there. In 1870, he designed the Abbe condenser, a device used for microscope illumination. This further improved the quality of microscopic images. He also developed the first refractometer in 1871, a tool used to measure the refractive index of transparent materials. Abbe's dedication to his work led to the creation of the Abbe number, a measure of a material's variation of refractive index with wavelength. Zeiss Optical Works began selling Abbe's improved microscopes in 1872, and by 1877 they were offering microscopes with homogeneous immersion objectives. However, it was in 1886 that Abbe's apochromatic objective microscopes hit the market, revolutionizing the field of microscopy. Abbe's discoveries didn't go unnoticed. He was credited with defining the term numerical aperture, a measure of the angle of light entering a microscope lens. He also discovered the resolution limit of the microscope, which he expressed in a formula. Although it was later revealed that the formula had been derived earlier by Joseph Louis Lagrange, Abbe's experimental work solidified its importance. In 1876, Abbe was offered a partnership at Zeiss, allowing him to share in the significant profits. Together with Zeiss and Otto Schott, he formed the Genier Glasswork Schott & Genossen in 1884, a company responsible for the research and production of optical glass. Ernst Abbe's contributions to the field of optics and microscopy were immense. His inventions and discoveries paved the way for clearer and more precise observations, forever changing the world of science. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.